Naughty Steppers, how are you all? It's time for another review and today's one is a little bit special. Because this EP is undeniably one of the most out there projects that I have come across in recent memory and by that I mean years, genuinely. And so it is with pleasure that today I will be talking about the new EP from Itchy entitled Astral, released on Plenum Records. Plenum Records? Plenum Records? Plenum Records? I don't know. If someone could hit me up with the correct pronunciation of that, then it'd be much appreciated. I know this one came out a while ago, but I've only just got round to listening to it, so I hope you will forgive me for that. Now, I must admit that Itchy is not an artist that I was aware of before listening to this collection of songs, which added a level of intrigue going into it as per when listening to an artist for the first time. And usually it's the case that I've seen their music reposted here and there by other artists on SoundCloud, so I would have some sort of rough understanding of what their style of music would be. But that wasn't the case with this one because I just hadn't seen this name anywhere at all. And I think it's fair to say that any amount of reposting could not have prepared me for these four tracks. Because, as I said at the start, this is one of the most unconventional approaches to production that you're ever likely to come across within the realm of dark electronic music. These tunes are set up with a clear theme, a tribal, ritualistic vibe from which awareness of genre and structure can be had. By this, I mean that the theme is the notable thing with this music, with the percussion, that which signals a specific genre supporting that. Because usually the synths support the percussion. You can tell a drum and bass song from a trap song from a dubstep song through its percussion alone. That's what makes it what it is. But the mass of chanting vocal samples, animalistic effects and primitive noises ensure that the theme is at the forefront of Itchy's production. This is evident from the start with Kikamora, which follows a lovely springy introduction with bird tweets, didgeridoo sounds and confronting native cries. With a vocal sample verbalising the fact that this is insanity, a nice reflection on the madness created by this concoction of sounds. And it is from here that Astral continues to impress on multiple levels in that way across the four tracks. Even though the third track, Kawabunga, seems a little more genre influenced than the other three, the title track expands well on that wild, jungly atmosphere. It retains the hum and pulsation of the first tune, whilst including some rooster-like horn noises and a subtle mumbaton bounce to give it that nice sway leading into the second drop. And it is here that we get the biggest nod towards the EP's title, with some shimmering extraterrestrial notes at the beginning giving an insight into an outer-worldly existence. And the fourth and final track, Shingis Khan, also taps into this liveliness, but in a much more mystifying way. It is as if the listener has observed several rituals from the outside and is finally being summoned to have the experience themselves. As we are greeted by someone welcoming us into his place and saying, Oh, hello there, hello there, how are you, how are you, yes, yes before a wall of hypnotising, enchanting sounds lure the listener into its psychedelic depths. Tribal calls, daunting horn notes and an irrepressible, drawn-out croak of a vocal sample that really puts you in a trance. The constancy of which pulls the attention of the audience right in whilst its simple structure ticks along nicely in the background. Broken up in parts by the invasive ah oh, yeah yeah samples that snap you out of the hypnosis yet provide room simultaneously to throw you right back into it. It's inescapable. There's more of a lull to the second drop but it's just as compelling, especially with the tantalising God is sample that you don't quite hear in full at first. Yet when on the second time around it says God is dead, we get more of an understanding of the general concepts that pervade this EP. It is trying to revive spirituality at a time where science and technology are so rife as the phone interference sounds to close off the EP would suggest. This gives the impression that even though spirituality and ritual are still very present, it is currently technology that has the final say. And I doubt somewhat that this would have been Itchy's intention whilst making these tunes, but it's a nice angle from which to appreciate them. How this would apply moreover to the artwork isn't quite clear. I'm liking the wealth of colour on show, but it doesn't seem to represent the themes that this music provides. If anything, I'd say it looks more heavy metal than anything resembling electronic music. Maybe dubstep at a push. However, with the skulls, it does tap into ideas of death and the afterlife, and it therefore becomes easier to realise the notions of spirituality and such. 
Now I mentioned briefly earlier that the third track, Kawabunga, is a little more genre inspired than the other three, and it is for this reason that it stands as the only slight dip in the EP. It has much more of a standard, rudimentary trap appeal to it, with the percussion very much in the driving seat from start to finish. I do really like the oozier vocal samples deployed here, and the retention of that gliding Mumbaton beat, but it doesn't lend enough weight to the overlaying sounds and effects as the others do, and the fact that it's cut off so short, just when you're getting into it, is a bit of a letdown. That being said, whenever I get to the end of this EP, I find myself having a lot of love for it as a whole. What I love most about it is how it treads its own path. It adheres to certain structures from particular genres without placing too much emphasis on that aspect. And this ensures that what is layered over the top has the say more than anything else. There's no crashing drops or huge builds or massive introductions. It's a pretty constant experience, bereft of many definitive breaks. And that's not to say I don't love those larger styles of production, because that is essentially what this channel and idea is founded on. But I can't pretend that it isn't refreshing every now and then to come across something as individualistic as Astral is. And I really want people to be aware of it because it's so distinctive and idiosyncratic, I'm looking forward to how it develops as a sound in the future. And on that note, I don't think I could say that I have a favourite from Astral. I enjoyed it too much from start to finish to pick out a single track. It, it's a revelation. But I could give you some recommendations if you enjoyed this EP. So, at Leon's, Don Kong, Carol Tip, and even Command Q to an extent. Actually, there's a track by Next Row and To Die For called Sundown, which has a similar ritualistic vibe. But in giving you these recommendations, I can't say that there are huge similarities, just small points of likeness between them, such is the unorthodox nature of Itchy's music. If you want to go down the hallucinatory avenue with dark electronic music, then this would be a very good place to start. And so that's that, we've come to the end of another review, this time by Itchy's new EP Astral, released on Plenum Records. Please someone, if you have the correct pronunciation for that, then let me know what it is, because I'm pretty sure I'm not getting it right. But like this video, share it about, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, go and check out this EP. I know that he or she might be unknown, but I promise you, it's worth it. Then, once you've listened to it, you can leave a comment on this video down below with your thoughts on it. And don't forget to like and follow Naughty Step across all social media if you haven't already. With everything linked, including recommendations and previous videos, in the description box down below. If it's naughty, then you know guys, so be sure to keep it naughty and stay safe. And I shall see you all in the next one, if you watch the next video that is, which you bloody well better do. Peace.